Step 1. Get the pipe that already has its connector attached. Next, insert it into the hole you prepared earlier. Make sure it fits snugly and lines up properly. So the final result is strong and works well. Next, grab some glue and apply it around the area to make the connection stronger and more durable. Then, take the pipe connector and apply some glue to it as well, to ensure a stronger and longer lasting hold. After that, connect the pipe connector to the pipe, making sure it fits securely. Make sure everything is properly aligned and fits your needs, so the final result turns out well. Next, take the water faucet and insert it into the pipe connector. Then, attach or twist it in place as needed, making sure everything matches the correct size. Then, turn it around and make a hole in the back I go in this case. I've already made the hole beforehand. Next, attach the connector to the back. This will later be connected to a long pipe that goes into the well. Tighten and secure it firmly to make sure it's strong and long-lasting. After that, apply glue around the pipe to strengthen the connection and make it more durable. Next, take the long pipe that we'll later insert into the well. Before that, make sure to attach a check valve or foot valve at the very end of the pipe. This valve helps hold the water in place. So when we pump later, the water can rise quickly and easily through the pipe. Don't forget to apply glue to the valve as well, to make the connection stronger and more secure. Next, once all the steps are done, make sure the check valve is secure, strong, and built to last especially since it will be used long term. Then, insert the long pipe into the well and ensure it's safely in place. After that, start pumping the pipe repeatedly until water begins to rise to the top dot as soon as the water starts coming out. Quickly connect the pipe so that the water can flow into the container above. This step needs to be done quickly and accurately for the best results. And finally, after a few minutes of pumping, the water filled about a quarter of the container, and that means our manual, electricity-free pump is a success. Now, let's test it by opening the faucet. And yes, the water flows smoothly. Alright. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.